Hello, this is Patrick with Newport Vessels. Congratulations on your new boat order. Uh, your your order is going to be arriving in a package, or you already have it in a package roughly this size right here. It's going to have everything you need to get going. You're going to have your heavy duty carrying case, your aluminum oars, your floorboards, and your stringers. And now we're going to show you how to get this thing inflated and on the water. All right, you've got your boat out of the package. You just laid it out right now, and you've got all your parts ready to go. Your boat has also come with the foot pump for easy inflation here as well. This comes with all of our boats regardless of the size. So now that we've got the boat laid out, let's start pumping it up. We're going to go to one of our side chambers first. The valves are all on the side here and they're going to have their valve caps. Take the valve cap off and we're going to put this in the lock position. So these push in and out, you want to push in and turn to the right so that it pops out. So we're going to put the pump on, and let's start inflating this. All right, you're only going to want to inflate it about 35 or 45 percent, um, just a little bit so that it gives it its shape, but it's still not full at all, because it will make it easier when we put our floorboards in. So this is good right now. Let's take it out, put our cap back on. Now let's move over to the next side one. Alright, so we fill this one up about 35-45% again. Take it out. And then we're going to do our last chamber. Alright, now that the tubes are inflated about 30%, it's time to put in the floors. We're going to grab with the valve piece, the front piece here. We're going to start with this. Then let's grab the one that meets in the transom. And we're going to put the second one that goes in the back. This is number three. They're numbered, but you can do it either way you want. I recommend doing it the way that I'm showing you right now. And we're going to grab the one that goes up against the front piece. And then let's do the final one. Now you've got your floorboards in place, and I wanted to show you the floorboards are numbered. One, two, three, four. This is the 12 foot 6 inch model, so it's going to be one, two, three for some smaller ones. They don't they have to end up in this order, but they don't have to go in uh, in that order. So the way that I just showed you is the best one. The last thing is it's important that the floorboards are centered on the boat and equidistance from this side and equidistance from this side. We've got it done a good job right there. All right, our floorboards are in, they're in the right order and they're centered. Now it's time to connect the last piece. This is very, very easy if you have two people. You have one on each side and it's very simple and easy. It's a little bit more difficult with one person, but it's real simple still. I'll show you how to do it. So with one person, I like to use an oar or one of the, or one of the stringers. You're going to put the oar in, and that helps you give some leverage to get it up. It'll allow you to put these two brackets in place. So right now, see from there to here. And then, once you get it, take the oar out, step down, and you're ready to go. Alright, now it's time to put in our aluminum stringers. For the 12 foot stations, the aluminum stringers are going to look like this. Depending on the size of the boat, they're going to be slightly different shape. They could be longer depending on the size of the boat. You're going to want to put them in long side on the bottom and the more narrow side at the top. Right now, the way you do it, you make sure you put it right in the middle of the bracket. Slide it in like so. And you twist it or roll it into place. Just popped, we're locked, we're in, in place right now. Alright, so you're going to put your stringers in on each side. Remember, once again, the longer side at the bottom and the thinner side at the top. Put it right in the middle, roll it down, and lock it in place. So you're going to want to do that on each side and make sure it's right centered in the middle. Alright, now your stringers are in place, your floor is in place, everything's ready to go. Now all we got to do is fully inflate. We're going to start with our side ones. Let's do the port and starboard, and then we're going to do the, the front, the belt. Alright, now that we're fully inflated, just want to say 
say one thing. With a foot pump, they're built and designed so that you cannot overinflate the tube. So even if you use an electric pump to pump up your boat, we recommend that you don't use it to pump it up all the way. Save it a little and inflate and try to top it off with a foot pump right here. All right, now it's time to put your bench seat on. As one tube's full, you're going to put it on and attach it right here. Then you're going to attach it to the other side. And as you inflate the other side and the bow, it's going to slowly pull out and pull the seat tight into place, lock it into place. Now that the tubes are completely full, we're going to do the very last part, which is inflate the rigid keel. Alright, so all we got to do, put our valve cap on, your boat's ready for use, ready to go.